If you are thinking about moving to Aubrey, Texas in 2024, you won't want to miss this video where we're going to talk about the five things you need to know before making a move to this town of Aubrey, Texas. Hey guys, this is Gus and Carla here. We are local realtors with EXP Realty and we love helping families just like yours um, sell, relocate, and buy here in, in, the north, in the North Dallas area. So we would love to connect with you and answer any questions that you may have. Uh, we are local expertise, real estate agents here in the area. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Our information will be up here. Okay, so with a lot of people moving into the area from other states, we thought it would be a great idea to remake a video that we've made in the past. Um, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of an idea of what it's like or what you need to know before you actually make the move down here and you're thinking about relocating from another state, relocating from another part of Texas. So stay tuned, watch this video to see what you can expect when you move here to Aubrey. So Aubrey is kind of a rural area. If you haven't heard of Aubrey before, it borders like Frisco and Prosper and Salina. It is um, still growing. So it's definitely a growing community. So if you're thinking about moving out here to Aubrey, one of the things that you can expect is a whole lot of new homes. Yeah. That is super important. Um, it's not like Dallas where you're gonna get the older homes. Um, here in Aubrey, you're probably looking at homes between 2015 and higher. Yeah. In the newer part of Aubrey, now Aubrey does have a downtown where there's older homes with more land actually, but they're kind of like smaller homes, more ranch style homes, which is not what you're gonna see in the newer part with the master planned communities. Yeah, so as number one that we have for the, uh, you know, one of the five things you need to know before moving to Aubrey, Texas, is that is it. It's a growing community. There's a lot of new developments going up, especially in the newer side of Aubrey. Uh, Sandberg Ranch is still building houses. Union Park is still building houses. They're all. Airbrook <laughs> still building houses. I think the only one that is not. Winridge. Winridge. Still, no, they're still building. They're still building houses. Silverado, another big community, still building houses and other communities that are popping up um, in Auburn, Texas. So keep that in mind. There is still a lot of movement going on here. A lot of people moving into this area. Yeah, so if you're looking for a city where it's kind of already laid out for you, there isn't a lot of um, growing, it's just kind of everything is where it is, you've got the store there, mm -hmm. you know. Aubrey is probably not gonna be the city you're going to, and unfortunately we've had clients who move here and then they hate it, and then they wanna sell their house like yeah. three months later. So it's something really important to know. You definitely want to come out and check it out or you want to make sure that you're speaking with the right realtors yeah. who are going to tell you what kind of city it is. Expect a whole lot of growth. Yeah. Right now it's going through growing pains. So you must know that before you move to Aubrey. Yeah, because the, the last thing we want for a client is for them to get excited about a house and don't really realize, don't have the actual facts in front of them about what it looks like to live here in Aubrey. And uh, it's not for everybody, right. as you're gonna say. So there are, like she mentioned, there's have been some clients that buy their house. A few months later, they just wanna sell because they can't be here. They wanna be closer to the, you know, entertainment. Mm -hmm. You know, they wanna go out and have restaurants and, and bars and whatnot nearby. Yeah. So they just want that feeling, which, you know, Frisco could be an option, Richardson, Carrollton, those um, kind of places could be an option closer to Dallas. So- Aubrey, you're not gonna be able to walk anywhere. No. Like you're gonna have to get in your car, you're gonna have to drive yeah. pretty much everywhere. So that's something to consider, especially with a lot of people moving from out of state. Mm -hmm. They don't really know how, Aubrey's not rural, but it's also not the suburbs. You're, you can't just walk to the store. You're gonna have to get in your car. Yeah, so keep that in mind guys, and uh, let's go to the next one. All right, let's jump into number two of the five things you need to know before moving to Aubrey, Texas, and that is the housing affordability, cost of living, right? Um, it's a major uh, part of why a lot of families are moving into Aubrey. If you compare it to other major cities like um, Dallas, for example, you still can get a great house um, for your money here in Aubrey compared to you know Dallas. Or if you're relocating from other major cities like New York, California, you're definitely going to see a huge difference on housing. So that is one of the major parts why a lot of families are moving here to this area. Yeah, yeah. so 
Something to consider kind of going back to our last point is because it's growing, you're gonna see a lot of master plan communities, uh, a lot of single resident homes, yeah. um, a lot of newer builds. Yeah. There are some apartments that are starting to be built. Yeah. So, but there isn't anything like as far as like condos, no, townhouses, no. you're not gonna see that in Aubrey. Yeah. Um, you are gonna see some ranch, some horse ranches in downtown Aubrey, which is nice. Yeah. Um, they hold activities for kids, things like that. But you're definitely just really looking at bigger master plan communities, lots of houses, lots of new houses. Yeah. Um, and within that, you're looking at different communities. Yeah. So Aubrey has Windridge and Sandbrock and Arrowbrook. They yeah. all hold different builders and they all have different amenities. So hey, give us a call if you are if you have questions about maybe your needs and your wants and what could be the best community for you and your family. You know, we know all these communities here in Aubrey, so give us a call. We would love to answer those questions for you. Mm -hmm. And there's budgets for everybody too. Right, So keep that in mind. So one of the other things that you must know before moving to Aubrey is gonna be schools. So Aubrey has a lot of new schools going up. Silverado has a new elementary. Um, I've heard that they're gonna be building a junior high and high school in that community. We've got a brand new middle school that yep. just opened up, I think, last year. Last year, uh, Chick. 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 Is that the yes. one you're talking about? Yes, yeah, middle school, which is actually in Prosper, but it's zoned to um, the NISD. Yeah, so lots of new schools are popping up. They still have one high school, if I'm not mistaken, as of now. No, they have, uh, they have more than one. Several? Yeah. Okay. So um, you've got different schools. You've got Braswell. I don't know what the other one is. Um, it's more towards the downtown, um, older side of um, Aubrey. So. so, but there is a lot of different schools. Now with that said, a lot of our clients are like, hey, the school ratings are awful again. So we try to stress out to our clients, don't focus so much on the school ratings. You could have an amazing teacher in a school that's not rated the highest yeah. and vice versa. Yeah. So we do know Prosper ISD is, you know, amazing. They offer a lot of different things. Now, if your child is, uh, you know, athletic and that's the route you want to go, then definitely I would look at schools in Prosper ID, ISD versus Aubrey. Yeah. But definitely you want to check out the schools because they're not the right fit for everybody. Yeah. Um, if you've got a kid with special needs, also I do know like McKinney offers a lot of great programs where Aubrey might not have the same thing. Now, something weird is even though we're in Aubrey, we're not sewn to Aubrey ISD, so don't look up Aubrey ISD. Yeah, well, depending on which community you go into. Yes, because so Silverado is Aubrey. Silverado is Aubrey ISD. Um, some of these neighbor, uh, newer neighborhoods in Aubrey are zoned to Denton ISD. Yes. So two different ISDs in the city of Aubrey. Yes, yeah. so if that is something that's really important to you guys, give us a call, we'll let you know exactly which ISD it is. Yeah. And um, we can give you any information we may have. Yeah, another cool thing too, like moving into some of these, uh, you know, master plan communities, a lot of them do have elementary schools on site. Union Park has Union Park Elementary. Mm -hmm. Sandbrook Ranch has Sandbrook Ranch Elementary. I thought Union Park is all. Not Aubrey, but it's still in Union Park. It, yes, Union Park. so Union Park Union, is kind it's of, weird. it's Little L, Little L but L it's It has an Aubrey, Aubrey address. So okay. there's a lot of confusion with the communities that are here. Um, but yes, mm -hmm. most of them have their own elementary schools, which is pretty cool. And yeah. uh, they're all in the same area. So if you're looking at Aubrey, you are going to come across houses that are in Union Park. They're just legally, they are zoned to Little Elm. Yeah. All right. So number four thing you need to know before moving to Aubrey, Texas is how or the proximity um, that we are to major cities like Dallas, for example, um, depending on the time and what day you are traveling to Dallas. If we are going to the airport, for example, I might consider about a 45 minute to an hour drive, depending if I'm, you know, making some, making a Starbucks stop, maybe I'll probably, you know, do an hour drive, you know, get some traffic here and there, maybe an accident here and there, just shoot for an hour. But 45 minutes will get you to downtown Dallas for, uh, with no problem for the most part. Yeah. Um, the other, other close proximity to major cities like Frisco, Plano. Now, if we want to go into like, uh, you know, do some fine dining, 
or have more entertainment for us and the family, we're gonna be looking into Plano or Frisco for the most part, right? So just know that we are maybe 20 minutes for the most part to Frisco, Plano area. So if you wanna go to a you know, Stormborn Mall in Frisco, it's about 20, 25 minutes, right? Yeah. So just know that we are in proximity to other cities where there is not a lot to do in Aubrey mm -hmm. per se, and we do have another video that talks about that, but we do have the advantage of being so close to these um, other cities. Prosper as well is another one. Yes, so proximity is great if you're not the kind of person that wants to just walk out of your house and go to all of these things. Um, you can get in the car and you could be there within 15, 20 minutes, depending on where it is that you're trying to go. So proximity is great. Now, with that said, that will lead us to point, yes. Our last, our last point. That Number five know. that uh, you must know before moving to Aubrey, Texas. And that is, what did you say? That is the traffic, okay? The traffic, and we've said it in our, on our original video that we did a few years back. This is an updated version. There is still traffic in this area, okay? We just, it is what it is. There's more traffic in this area. I mean, I thought there was traffic before. <laughs> There's so much more traffic now. There is more like traffic full, and- Full transparency. There's yeah. so much traffic here. We do get more, yes, 380. <laughs> okay, 380 is the main one, I think. They're all- Now, fish all track, bad. we talked about fish track last it's time. Bad. It got a little better. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. It got a little better. No, it didn't. 13, 1385, <laughs> it's still a two lane, you know, road. That is still in the plans to get expanded into a six lane road. Now, I don't have all the information on that of when that's gonna start, but we know for sure that uh, 380 has begun the infrastructure and the expansion of that, which is huge. Okay, it's huge because of all the overpasses that are going to be installed on 380 from Denton all the way to um, Collin County and Denton County meets over there towards um, Prosper, Frisco area. So yes, tons of traffic, expect that. If you are commuting to Dallas each and every day or that area, you're gonna get traffic, especially in the mornings when it's peak hours or in the afternoon after everybody gets out of work. Okay? Yes, Aubrey so. might not be the best city for you if you are commuting every single day into the Dallas area. Yeah. Uh, traffic is just unbelievable here which if you can deal with that and that's not a big issue for you, then this could totally be the city for you. Yeah. We don't go out every day, so it's not horrible, but it did take me like 20 minutes just to get to the other side of the street the other day. So yeah. Yeah. it is ridiculous. Um, the traffic has gotten so much worse because there's so many more communities coming in. There's so many more people moving in, but again, growing pains at some point, it will be better. Yeah. So if you can push through it, then this might totally be the city for you. Right. Now, when we go out, it's not crazy. Sundays are not bad. Right. Um, if you're trying to catch, you know, a dinner in Frisco, you're not going to really get traffic, but it's just, it's what you would expect. Yeah. You know, early in the morning and then like the five o'clock traffic. Yeah. There you go. And we hope that you guys really enjoyed this video, that it was helpful to you guys. If you are moving from out of state and you've been looking and trying to find a spot or a place in Texas and you came across Aubrey, hopefully this will help guide your decision. Yeah. And if you have any questions at all of something that we may not have covered here and you've got questions, give us a call. Yeah. Leave a comment, guys. What do you think is one of your major factors of your decision making a factor into um, moving into Aubrey, Texas? Let us know. Um, guys, we're here to help. We're here to guide you. We're here to facilitate and um, help you through the whole buying process if you're looking to move into Aubrey or any other uh, city around the North Dallas area. We would love to connect with you, answer those questions for you. You can go into the description of this video, find our emails, you can find our phone numbers there, you can book an appointment there, through there, um, and also our information is gonna be up here. So you can text us, you can call us, let's connect, let's get you into your dream home here in the Dallas area.